Still on the topic of blessings, which is virtually inexhaustible. Literally, the blessings of God is eternal. No end. Genesis 14, 18, 29. 18 then Melchizedek king of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God most high. And there is also all-round blessings, which is only the exclusive privilege of God's children. Psalms 1 to 139. One blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers. Neither will the one who grew in a dysfunctional home or environment would not know what an orderly society should be. So is the all-round blessings of God, which is an unfamiliar terrain to the unrighteous. Three, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. For the fruit of your womb will be blessed, and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks. Five, your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. Six, you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The caveat to all encompassing blessings of God is outlined in the above scriptures. Someone may ask, despite all that is going on around, he is still blessed. Take a good cursory look. Obedience might simply be his watchword. The cost of it is far less than disobedience. Enjoy your day. EOD Adedum kindly press the middle paragraph twice it will stop for you to read after reading. Press once it will continue to the next page and repeat saying till you finish reading thanks.